from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. We are in for a warm up Tampa Bay. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, your top stories at this hour. Uh, the numbers in Florida's COVID-19 outbreak, latest numbers just out. State health officials are reporting 8,000 new cases and 137 more deaths since yesterday. The total number of cases connected to the state now inching up to 1.6 million since the pandemic began. There have been more than 24,000 deaths. Meanwhile, the statewide positivity rate for new cases yesterday was just above 9%. More than 1 million people have gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine in Florida so far, but data from the state shows nearly 41,000 people are overdue for their second shot. That means they've gotten the first dose, but past the recommended time frame to get the second. A health expert from USF says a single dose might be about 50% effective, while it is reported to be more than 90% effective with that second shot. Work is underway along Tampa's River Walk for the Super Bowl experience. The football theme park will be at Julian B. Lane Park starting on January 29th. It's going to have exhibits and fun interactive games. Tickets are free, but you do, however, need to register for them on the NFL's One Pass app. The NFL says they will have limited capacity and several COVID protocols in place. There will also be a setup over at Curtis Hickson Park with live music. Well, a heads up for Disney lovers, unless you already have annual passes to Disney World, you won't be able to buy another one for now. The park says it will renew current passes for owners, but will not sell new ones. Disneyland in California made that same announcement last week. Dennis, how are we looking? We're looking kind of cold out there with a the freeze warning and frost advisories in effect across the entire area north of I-4. So Pasco County frost advisories. Hernando and Citrus freeze and frost advisories, and this will be over by tomorrow as a big warm up returns. So let's talk about those temperatures tomorrow morning. Pinellas County 40s. You will not see a frost or a freeze. If you live in Hillsborough County, northern parts of Hillsborough County, even though not under that advisory, still has the possibility of a bit of patchy frost. That frost becomes more widespread in Citrus, Hernando and Pasco County and then lower 40s from Polk County right on back to the beach in Sarasota and Manatee. Clear skies overnight, forecast lows dropping down into the 40s and Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. Upper 60s Tuesday, low 70s Wednesday. Anybody for 80 degrees? It's back in the forecast for some of us by the weekend.